Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ here, and today I will be showing you how to make a player that moves with your keys. Um, I'm gonna move in pretty quickly because I need to. I don't have that much time to record this. So let's start by making a frame class, and we will have it extend to JFrame. Let's import JFrame. We'll go to. We'll make a constructor, public frame. We'll make an init method and make your make your main method. So we'll create a new frame object in here. Um, let's do set. Whoops! I actually need to flip those static void, not two voids. Wow! I'm having trouble. Um, set default. Sorry, when I type fast, I make a lot of mistakes. Um, JFrame dot exit on close, and we'll set the title to player movement. We'll set the size to 400 by 400. Set size of false. We'll call the init method. Set layout, new grid layout, 1100. Zero, zero. This is just to center the panel on the screen. We're going to create a new screen object. New screen. This will be the next class that we make. Add S. Set visible. True. Alright. Um, let's import grid layout. Actually, grid layout. There we go, come on. Whoops. Import grid layout. Alright, um new class. We'll call this screen. And have it extend J panel. And we want it to implement action listener and key listener. Alright, so make sure you import all of these. Come on. Alright, um, so add all the methods. Let's just delete all this extra junk that we don't need. Um, Alright, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make the timer. So actually, first let's move this action performed up here. Just a little formatting thing I like. Um, and we're going to create a new timer. Basically, this is going to loop through our game loop, which is the action performed method. So, let's create a constructor and import timer. Make sure you import the jobx.swing timer. And we're going to do t.start. And then we also need to add a key listener. and set focusable true otherwise we won't be able to use the keys and it won't work so we're gonna call the repaint method which is inherited by this paint method um, so make your paint method in here and let's just raw rectangle to make sure this is working and And write out hello. It's going to loop through and keep saying hello. Uh, the console. Yes, it works. And here we are. All right. Also, one extra thing, just so you guys can see it, relative to no. So this is going to center it on the screen, which it won't be centered because I'm not not on the YouTube video. It won't be centered. Um, so we can delete that. Let's make a new class. We will call this player, except with the capital P. Um, just rename it. Okay. Um, let's create our constructor. Actually, let's have this um, extend rectangle. 
just to make our job a little bit easier. Import rectangle, you know, um, while we're at it. Import graphics as well. If I can spell it right. Um, so let's do int uh, x, int y, int width, int height, int dx, int dy. Now let's create two integers up here, dx and dy. This is basically for um, movement. It's like a velocity variable, I guess you could call it. Oh, make sure you name them. Give them a type. Um, let's set the bounds to x, y with. Right. So now we have a rectangle with those things. Um, dx equals dx. This. This dot dy equals dy. So basically, it's just saying that these are going to be equal to these now. Um, it's void. Let's let's call this tick. This is just going to update the player. So do x plus equals dx. Actually, let's do uh, this dot x. So we're referring to um, the rectangle x and this dot d this dot y equals plus equals dy and we need um, a draw method and that's going to take in a graphics g I don't know why we're getting this oh it doesn't matter um, so in here we're just going to do uh, we're going to fill a rectangle with this dot here, let me this dot x if I can spell it right, this dot y, this dot width, this dot height. Okay, um, we need two more methods. Set dx. This dot dx equals dx. So we need to actually take in a dx there. And set dy. Okay, um, yeah, that's it for the player class. So let's go back into the screen class. I'm sorry about all the rushing. Um, we'll create a new player. We'll just do 10, 10, 10, 10, 1, 1. Um, P.tick. So that's going to update the player position. P.draw G. And then we also need to do G.clear rect. Otherwise, it won't. The, the screen won't be cleared every single time, and we'll get like a bunch of different rectangles everywhere. Now, let me run this really quick. Okay, we have a moving player. That's good. Um, changes back to zero zero. If I can finish this. Wait, I think I have it copied and pasted. No, I don't. Crap. Okay. Change both of these to K's. And this is going to be really fast. Switch. Uh, K dot get key code. Um, case key event dot VK underscore D. Break. Break. Um, Still recording? Yeah, I'm still recording. Okay. Um, let's just copy and paste this three times. One, two, three. And we'll make these S, A, and W. Alright, um, here we're going to do p.setdx to 1. p.setdy to 1. P dot set dx negative one. P dot set dy to negative one. Okay, that should work. Um, so now if I press the keys, it moves. Well, that's basically it. If yeah, um, well, I guess thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. I will see you next time.